With races like this and the support of major sporting events, the Susan G. Komen Foundation has raised close to $2 billion to fight breast cancer. However, the foundation is now under fire for cutting funds to Planned Parenthood, funds used for breast exams. Planned Parenthood stands to lose several hundred thousand dollars for those exams. San Mateo Congresswoman Jackie Speer says this is politically motivated. The Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure has made a political decision. I've run in the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. I've walked in the Race for the Cure. I have been the MC of a number of events but not anymore. Ironically, yesterday, the Komen organization also announced the dismal rate of breast cancer screening with women who do not have insurance is something like 38.2%. Last year, the Planned Parenthood organization was responsible for over 700,000 700,000 breast cancer screenings for women who are poor. There's a Republican-led congressional investigation into Planned Parenthood's compliance with federal restrictions on funding abortions. The Susan G. Komen Foundation released a statement saying in part, it's implemented more stringent eligibility standards to safeguard donor dollars. It wants to be absolutely clear, grant-making decisions are not about politics. But Planned Parenthood's president argues otherwise. I think really what this is as a result of is this very ugly and aggressive campaign by right-wing organizations to bully the Komen Foundation and keep them from working with Planned Parenthood. The Komen Foundation has been targeted by anti-abortion groups. Lifeway Christian Resources pulled funding for the foundation because of ties to Planned Parenthood. The Christian publisher now says, we are very grateful Susan G. Komen for the Cure will no longer fund Planned Parenthood affiliates. I'm Grant Lotus, Cron 4 News.